Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 6th. Uh, this week, we're going to just jump right in here. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> we're going to see what is coming in for you in your first row here. There definitely could be a gift. It could be love, and it could be another earth sign. I'm pretty sure that you... And look at this. Damn, Taurus. I like this. This is definitely going to be a good week for you. Um, but it could be an earth sign. Uh, that's coming in for you, or it could be someone who has a lot of earth in their chart. This would be Capricorn, but just intuitively, I'm just getting earth in general. So, you know, it could be like an earth sign or someone with a lot of earth, like I already said. Could also be a water sign I see here. But if you're looking for love, this looks like a blessing that is coming in for you. For others, I feel like this, you know, it's almost like this energy of needing to be prepared for like a really positive change here. I also feel like I'm getting this message of like needing to stop going backwards. And what I mean by that is it's almost as if, you know, sometimes I think in life we have like a little bit of a success and then we go back. You know, we think, oh, you know, the success won't last or whatever. But I think that the way to reframe this in your head is to say like, no, I had the success in the first place. I can do it again. And, you know, I, I kind of feel that could be a gift as, as lame as that sounds, right? <laughs> I feel the gift could be that you are realizing that you can repeat a success. It's like if you did it once, you can do it again. I also feel like building your confidence would be a very beneficial thing for you just based off of everything here, especially with the Queen of Wands. We are stepping into a time of the unknown where, you know, I kind of just feel there's a lack of this understanding. I've, I've said this since uh, Neptune and Pisces, basically almost for the life of my channel, that my problem that with Neptune and Pisces is that we have goals. We have these big dreams, Neptune and Pisces, but there's no, there's no like milestone. There's no marker. There's nothing that says, hey, you're going in the right direction. It's kind of like we just have to, you know, learn as we go. And you have the Queen of Wands, which is my card of learning as you go. But, um, you know, we do have Saturn moving into Pisces and I kind of feel that, Saturn in Pisces is going to bring a little reality to the show. <laughs> it's going to bring a little bit more reality to the things that we're working towards. And this is a good thing because I think it's going to point out areas where we like things we need to work on more to get closer to the dream, whatever it is for you. But I also feel it's going to maybe provide a little bit of feedback, which I think has been missing is like the universe. It, it just doesn't seem like the universe is providing feedback, like saying, yes, you're going in the right direction, right? You have the devil here. So again, I do feel this is a person. I, I, for some of you, this could be an earth sign. Like I said, you have this and you have the hermit. So it could be a Virgo as well. Um, what I would say is like for some of you, mm, you know, you have the five of swords, which would be like a breakup or a separation. I'm not so sure that it's a separation though. It's more of a risk is what I would say. Just kind of going this way here. It's like the fantasy is there <laughs> with the seven of cups, five of swords to the chariot. It could be like some sort of risk. Sometimes you know, I'll just give you an example. I always say that during Neptune and Pisces, I'm, the reason I'm saying this is because you have the high priestess here with the fool. It's like needing to take the leap of faith on some sort of risk. And with Neptune and Pisces, for example, we can get into a long distance relationship that doesn't work out, but we stay in the fantasy for too long. You know, the fantasy is kind of a little bit more attractive. The trick with Neptune and Pisces, by the way, is I always say astrology is not a prison sentence. We just have to work with the energy. And the trick is to make it a reality, is to bring it down to earth. So it kind of looks to me like, you know, even this way, this could be like something long distance. If it's not a long distance relationship, uh, this could be anything. You know, the chariot says where there's a will, there's a way. And, it, and the high priestess, represents unlimited potential. So you might have a big goal, wish, or dream, something you see as a blessing. We even see this here, a lot, very dreamy energy in your reading. This is why I'm talking so much about this. And you have, you know, he has this fish in this cup. And I always say that he is imagining that fish. It might not exist. <laughs> it might be, you know, there's ways to read it where that's his pet, right? <laughs> there's other ways where maybe that fish doesn't exist and it's something that he has to grab onto because the fish could jump out of the cup. The, the fish could escape, right? And we see that here. The Seven of Cups says that something exists in the clouds, something exists above your head. And you always get this card now that I think about it, Taurus. You know, there are good things and bad things in these cups, but it's kind of like you have to find out. I think I said this to you in your last reading as well, because I said the same thing. It's almost as if the universe is saying like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how this relationship is gonna end up. I'm not gonna tell you how this business is gonna turn out. You have to find out. You have to go on the journey, right? 
with the devil, <laughs> I'm just throwing cards today. You have the nine of cups, so wish fulfillment. I do feel like there could be a wish coming in here. I feel like you don't wanna repeat mistakes with that devil. It's kind of like I feel good, bad about the devil as well. These people are being controlled by the devil. Obviously, they have these chains around their necks, but they could easily, you know, the whole point of this card is that the chains look very loose. They could easily take those chains off from around their neck and they would be set free. So I do feel that for some of you, I feel like you need to move towards something that feels like wish fulfillment. A lot of your readings have been, well, actually not this one, but a lot of them have been about your feelings. How, how do you feel about things? That's the only thing I would pay attention to. With the Page of Cups, I think you want something to move forward faster here. If it's like a relationship, you're hoping to see more progress or you want to see more, you know, something there. Uh, same thing in work or business as well. I feel this craving for more, just more progress. It's almost like you're saying to the universe, if I, in, like, okay, universe, I'm willing to invest in this with my energy. That's what I'm referring to here. But if I don't get the result, I'm not gonna keep going. So I, I, again, kind of like more of that energy where it's you just want to see a certain result or results, period. And I feel like you're willing to do the work, but you need to see more results is kind of what I'm hearing. With the seven of cups, you have the eight of wands, quick success. For some of you, maybe you just need to take bigger kind of like steps, right? I feel like you've been taking some baby steps and if you haven't, it would be a good time to take some baby steps towards like a goal, wish, or dream. Take baby steps and then start taking bigger and bigger steps is what this is saying. Remember what I said at the beginning, it's kind of like I this message where it's almost like you've had these successes, but you go backwards. And again, I'm not calling you out here. I just think sometimes we, we've all done this, right? Where we have a success, and then we start doubting ourselves that we're gonna be able to maintain the success. But I feel like this is saying, no, <laughs> you are go you've done it once and that's all that matters. And, and I feel you need to keep having these like small wins, but also I think you need to kind of make the wins bigger and bigger and bigger. Like each time you take a step, I feel like you need to, uh, to just push yourself just a little bit more outside your comfort zone. And uh, that's gonna lead to real growth. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you have this blessings card. There's like some sort of breath of fresh air coming in for you. Some blessings, maybe a time where you're going to be able to take some weight off, right? Being able to just relax and not feel so pressured. I, I feel a significant release of pressure here for you, Taurus. And, you know, I really like that. Uh, it, maybe it's nothing, you know, totally unexpected. Maybe it's nothing all that surprising it could just be you're getting a break this month or you know there's kind of like a release but when hey i like i think that's a good thing when we're in that energy we can become more successful you have this queen of wands here and this perfectly describes like the time that we're in i think we need to be bold assertive like she is she really goes for things she really kind of like takes control over what she wants to create in her life and she charges towards it and you have the chariot right next to it and she's also very focused on her desires. You see, she has that sunflower and sunflowers in the tarot represent the sun. So she's very focused on creating more happiness. You have this blessings card. This is like a canary or something and it looks like the sun. So I would be focusing on things that bring you joy. You have the five of swords. Five of swords can represent winning at all cost. But to me, it's really having learned how to walk away from things is what's popping into my head for you. So I feel like you've learned how to cut things out, how to walk away from things. I feel like you've learned how to release things as well. You have the chariot and the chariot, he has the city behind him and he's leaving that city behind him. He doesn't necessarily know where he's going. He just knows that he's going somewhere where he can set himself apart, where he can be different. That's why he represents a victory because he can't really stand out in the city, but he can stand out somewhere else that he creates on his own. And that's what I feel like you're doing here. That could be part of the risk. Maybe you're kind of going off on your own path in business or work or some other area of life. You have the high priestess and the fool. Yeah, I feel you're a little bit overprepared as always. I mean, every single re reading I do for you, Taurus, you have this overprepared energy that the fool, he has this tiny little sack on his back and it just kind of says that he has everything he needs in his brain. He has everything he needs to be successful on a journey. The high priestess, she has no roof over her head. And I always say that, you know, she represents trusting your intuition and all that other great stuff, but she also represents unlimited potential. But the problem is potential is just potential. We have to put the work in to make something happen. But it's like, you're kind of like on a journey the, you know, the card before her is the magician and you have the chariot. So it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, the chariot, he 
kind of looks like the magician. He's even holding the wand that the magician is holding on to. It's almost like you're finally, uh, you know, it's almost like you're finally solidifying this dream. You've had the Seven of Cups with me for the past, I don't know, at least two weeks of readings, right? And it's almost like you're finally bringing it down to earth. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Fool. Someone could be taking a risk towards you, and this could be in love, you know? So if you want love, I'm getting a little bit of everything in your reading, but there could be love coming in for you. And it's definitely like a new beginning. Uh, if, you, if you're dealing with a person, but maybe it hasn't gotten to the level that you would like it to, this could, again, I also do get that this could be you getting to that level that you're hoping to get to with a person, a deeper commitment, uh, traveling to see each other, again, if it's long distance or whatever. With the Five of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups walking away. Um, there's something that has to be walked away from. I'm not so sure that it's a relationship. It's more past beliefs or those, you know, like I was saying, those success things where maybe you go back to the past. And I feel also this is a card of darkness, right? It, he's normally on the Eight of Cups. The guy is walking in darkness and he doesn't really know where he's going, but he's walking towards fulfillment. He's walking towards the Nine of Cups. With the uh, High Priestess and the Fool, you have the Queen of Swords. You see things very clearly now. Something's been proven to you recently as well. The High Priestess is like seeing something intuitively. The Queen of Swords, she actually sees something clearly for the first time. So for some of you, maybe you've had some hunches in life about the direction of your business or your career or a relationship or love in general. And I feel like some it's almost like this is just kind of confirmation. I feel like you're receiving confirmation uh, that you're going in the right direction. Uh, next in the area of, oh yeah, I, I, I'm calling this critical information you need to hear right now. You have this, uh, you're stepping into your highest divine life path. There you go. You have a spirituality card. It says, use money magic spells to increase wealth and prosperity. A spiritual advisor, healer, tarot reader, or anything in the occult. You're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path right now. Now, which again, I would say is that seven of cups. I do feel with Pluto going into Aquarius this year as well, is that unique is like the name of the game. <laughs> so if you're comparing yourself to other people, not going to work. Again, your success isn't going to happen like anyone else's. And that's pretty much true for everyone, but it's definitely true for the people that get the chariot, the seven of cups, because these are kind of cards of going on a unique path, right? And again, you have this chariot justice in the hermit. The chariot card, again, he's leaving this city behind him. And he's being guided by the universe, by the way. These two sphinxes, they represent the universe. And they represent the fact that he trusts that the universe is going to guide him in the right direction. He is trusting that the universe wants the best for him and is leading him away from something that was maybe an establishment for a very long time. Again, that could be that city. So, so you know, it could be moving from somewhere you've been for a long time, but it could also be you, um, you know, leaving something that you've just been in for a long time, like a long-term relationship that isn't working, um, a business, a job, whatever it is, doesn't matter. But I feel like you're setting yourself apart here with this energy. And again, you have the Justice card. The Justice, I'm going to show you, the Justice card is going to the Six of Pentacles. And what I would say is that, you know, I've been saying for two years now that Justice is the answer to the rest of your life because Justice is cause and effect. I feel, again, like a lot of these milestones are missing where if we try to set out to start a goal or to achieve a goal, it just, maybe we just don't get any feedback from the universe. But we actually are getting feedback and the way that we get feedback is justice. If we put energy into something and we get energy back, then we should keep moving that direction. The problem is, is I think that there's a lot of astrology that maybe makes us think like, oh, I have to go in this direction. You know, if I want to start my business, it has to be this business and it has to work this way. So there's too much of that and not enough of like trusting that you're being guided in the right direction through your feelings, right? And so I feel for a lot of you, you need to trust your feelings, but also the feedback that you're receiving because it might be a direction you don't think you should go in, but it actually is. <laughs> so I would be trusting that for sure. Six of Pentacles, I also encourage experimentation. I'm literally starting a whole new channel all about it because I think that one of the things that could lead to the most success is experimenting, just basically trying new things. I think it's Bruce Lipton that says we live like 95% of our life automatically. We just, you know, our brain just takes over, which is great because if we didn't, we would have to think about everything like breathing or beating our heart and things like that. But there are some things that maybe if we did with like, uh, if we did those things on purpose, instead of automatically, we wouldn't make mistakes or maybe we'd be more successful or we'd discover a new pattern that would be better, right? We can kind of get break free from the matrix and, and you know, he calls it brain software. And it's like, we could change our brain software to become more successful or whatever. 
So, in, you know, again, a lot of these habits that we form, it's like they kind of lock us into an energy. So if we want to change our energy, we have to change the habits. I, feel, I see a lot of you doing that, but it's going to be through experimentation with that Six of Pentacles. And you have the Hermit. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, and, you know, this, uh, for others, I feel, well, for all of you, really, I don't think things have been easy for you <laughs> for a long time, Taurus. You know, I, I think that things have been challenging and you've gone through maybe a dark night of the soul for an extended period of time. And it's like you're finally breaking free from that. I really feel Six of Pentacles is my card of small wins. That's why I said that what I said at the beginning of the reading. And I feel having those small wins would just be super beneficial for, for you right now. It'll motivate you. It'll prove to you that you can be successful because you can. And, you know, these small wins could be anything, but I would just start small. Uh, with the chariot, yeah, <laughs> you have the six of pentacles, right? You just have to take that first step. You just have to, to kind of take that first little leap towards something. And that's, you know, really there is no good answer other than you have to get started, as I always say. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Five of Pentacles, feeling like you don't have the things you need. That's the other thing I would say is that right now, maybe that you feel like you don't have the resources, like the time, the effort, the energy, or financially, maybe you feel like you don't have the resources to start that business, to get into that relationship, to move, to travel. And again, I would just ignore it. I'm not saying that you don't need the resources, but sometimes I think we just have to get started. I always tell a story. When I moved, I moved to Seattle with my brother years ago, we don't live there anymore, but when I did live there, it's like we, we really didn't have the money to do it, but we just started the process, right? And we came out here. My brother got a job when we came to visit uh, before we moved out here. So it's like everything fell into place, but we had to get started first. And I kind of feel that's what the Five of Pentacles is saying. It's like you have to have the guts to, you know, just get started on something. Just start looking into something. Just start moving the energy in the direction of what you want through, you know, research, through contacting people, whatever you have to do. And I think doing that will just get the ball rolling, right? With the Hermit, you have the Two of Cups, love. <laughs> uh, this is like a soulmate coming in for some of you. For others, I feel like you've dealt with a stepping stone soulmate. And I don't, I don't always say this, but Two of Cups is my card of a stepping stone soulmate. A stepping stone soulmate is a person where usually when we meet them, they have gone, th they are going through something when, when we meet them that reminds us of us. Maybe we had financial difficulties 10 years ago. And maybe the, when we meet a person, they're going through exactly the same thing that we went through 10 years ago. And stepping stone soulmates, I think, are just here to remind us what we went through. <laughs> and uh, usually the problem with the stepping stone soulmate is that we usually feel very strongly connected to the person because we're like, oh my God, they're going through exactly what I went through. They're exactly like me, right? But really it's just a stepping stone. So for some of you, I feel like you've gone through a stepping stone soulmate situation. Again, the other problem with that is I think it can be hard to move on to someone else after a stepping stone soulmate because we feel a very strong connection to them. But then the next connection is usually like who we're really supposed to be with. So I feel like there could be a strong connection, kind of like a clue, probably not this month, but I feel like there could be a strong connection coming in if you don't already have a strong connection. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, no matter what shows up here, it's gonna be the good stuff. You have this um, All That Glitters card, this card normally represents things that are hidden. There's a mask on the gold. But I think you're right for once. Didn't I? I think I said that at the beginning of the reading that something that it, you think is the right thing for you actually is. And maybe you're a little bit guarded because of past situations where you got too excited or thought something was better than it actually was. But I do feel that there's something coming in that is exactly what it says it is, whether it's a relationship, a business idea, whatever. You have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Hangman. Again, more over preparation energy with the hangman. He has put himself in hangman mode so that he can gain enlightenment. But I do feel like this is saying like you've sacrificed enough and now it's time to move forward. So I feel there's a lot of success coming in here, Taurus. You have the two of wands, definitely time to leave a comfort zone. Again, you're not gonna find anything that you want where you are. That doesn't mean you have to move, by the way, but it does mean you have to get moving. Remember what I said about the 95%. Again, 95% of your life is automatic. You, you, everything is gonna stay the same if you stay in that 95%. If you want change, then I think you have to start not living automatically, right? And like I said, I'm literally starting a channel dedicated to talking about this because it totally changed my life, right? And I think it can totally change yours and it's free. That's the best part about it. It doesn't cost money to uh, do these things, right? And so that's what I'd say here. Everybody's always like, Chris, I want you to life coach and everything. You can just do this for free. You don't need to pay me money, right? And that's what I would say here with the two of wands. So I would just start thinking about like other ways of doing things, um, breaking habits if you have any habits, thinking more positively. Again, for me, uh, negative self-talk was like something that I still get, I still catch myself doing it, right? But that can be something you change, but it could be 
anything. I always tell stories about like, maybe you walk one day down a street, maybe you always go for a walk every day, you walk the same way. Walk a different way, right? Change your habits, could be anything. And start small with the Six of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be these big, gigantic changes that you make, but the thing is, is once you start making changes, things are gonna start feeling good and you're gonna make bigger and bigger changes. And once you make bigger and bigger changes, bigger and bigger changes are gonna happen. So I'm a big fan. I talk about it all the time of creating positive snowballs in life. And this to me looks like the start of a positive snowball. With the uh, Six of Pentacles, you have the Four Swords, breaking free from comfort zones, but a card of recovery for sure. I feel like you are going through healing and you know, that's all I get there. Uh, with the Two of Wands, you have the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. Two of Wands, he, he needs to leave a comfort zone. Again, he's kind of like at the top of a castle where he has been for his whole life. Or it could also be something that he rushed to accomplish. And now he needs to take the lead and get out into the world. Ace of Wands is literally out with the old, in with the new. So I would be, in, but it's something that you're, you feel passionate about with the Ace of Wands. You know, Ace of Wands is something that wakes you up at five o'clock in the morning that gets you excited, that makes you wanna burst out of bed and start working on it. Queen of Wands, right? Queen of Wands, same thing. She's very inspired by her desires, things that she truly desires to do. With the Hangman, you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, a card of victory. So clearly there's a big victory coming in because of all this Taurus. I love this reading, definitely amazing. So we're gonna uh, pull five, uh, three cards now. I'm gonna do three yes, no, maybe cards. If you don't have questions, that's fine too. I'm gonna put all three cards together at the end and I'm gonna put uh, answer it like a personalish reading. But if you do have questions, one, two, three, feel free to pause the reading now. And I'm gonna start reading the questions, the cards. So for question number one, you have the Three of Swords. I feel like you're healing from something here. For some of you, I feel like you are kind of like either maybe dealing with a relationship. I have a very specific story popping into my head here, Taurus. It's like, I see you kind of like dealing with a relationship, but also healing from something in the, from the past here. And so, Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel this is yes, no, or maybe. I feel like this is a, you need to heal some more from a situation before you maybe get into something. Or if you're having doubts about a, a relationship that you're in or one that you wanna move towards, again, there could be some healing that needs to happen. Uh, for question number two, hell yes. You have the lovers, so definitely yes. For question number three, yes, three of cups, celebration, happiness, joy. This looks really amazing. I feel some of you are clearly healing from a past love situation. For others, I literally just feel you're healing from like health or something like that. And this could be, it could lead to a celebration. Uh, for others, I feel there's also, this is you kind of like healing from a dark night of the soul and just picking a new path that's going to lead to a celebration, like all these blessings that are here and everything. Uh, this looks amazing, Taurus. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.